I hope you and all your family members are safe. At the onset of this webinar, I would like to thank Mr. Nilesh Barot and the FMJPI group for the opportunity and allowing me to speak with you today. I would also like to congratulate the FMJPI group on completing more than five years of providing a platform and connecting people in the India facility management space. I am Manoj Parekh, responsible for facility management business in India for OCS Group UK. OCS is a family owned 121 years old company with a billion pound turnover. We have 85,000 colleagues globally and 13,000 colleagues in India working at various sites and sectors. We are managing greater than 1000 megawatts of power system and greater than 25 million square feet of cleaning area in India. The safety and well-being of our colleague is an essential part of our day-to-day -day management. Our colleagues are our most valuable assets and we ensure that everyone gets home safe each day. What I would like to talk today is on changing fundamentals of effective facility management. So just to check, I think uh, I am audible and uh, I hope uh, uh, my voice is clear. Okay, thank you. So as you all know, the pandemic we are living through will have a long term impact on how we live and work, even as restrictions are lifted and things get back to normal. It has accelerated the trends towards remote working, flexibility in operations and online shopping. The current scenario has also made us examine closely how we use our environment, interact with others and reassess what is safe and clean. There is a huge opportunity for FM companies to showcase their solutions and emerge as a strategic partner for customers across different sectors. So you all may have heard of moss, which is normally grown in wet places, especially on rocks and trees. What we may do not know today is maybe moss is very versatile and adaptable. It is also the first plant to grow on rocky land and by breaking down rocks and soil, it helps creating an environment for regular plants to grow. Inspired by this, uh, we identify certain mega trends that denote a shift in the fundamental of effective facility management. These trends we describe as MOS. So M stands for managing and integrating multiple location. O stands for operating model. S for specialized workforce and teams. And again, S stands for strategic engagement. These are, to my mind, the bedrock for future growth of FM in India. I will now talk about these and explain them in next 20 minutes. So the first point which I mentioned is managing and integrating multiple locations. Uh, FM companies have realized that as there is a growing trend in remote working facilities, they are under pressure to manage, integrate and deliver top-notch quality of operations in multiple locations. Operation managers need to ensure that they provide the same level of seamless services quality to both internal as well as external customer across multiple locations. Therefore, there is a clear emphasis on data, response, predictability, mechanization and standardization of efforts. Facility management companies need to make sure that a robust ecosystem is developed which gives a clear line of sight on how people are behaving and performing in the new normal. I would like just like to quote an uh, uh, example. So we helped a leading chain of budget hotels to consolidate data and application integration into a single platform across multiple locations on a pan-India basis. We created a console where our team working on multiple locations were able to input real-time data through a mobile app. Our software generated automated reports giving detailed information on location wise consumption patterns on electricity, asset performance and availability. This helped the client to do a benchmarking analysis between different locations and find out the expenses mapped 
with occupancy levels. Not only that, with the predictive analytics, the client got to know when something is going to break before it even happens. We are now helping the client with IoT solutions. This may then even uh, you know require minimal human interaction for something to be done about an issue. Having the benefit of AI with supporting intelligence and data in aiding decision is the critical to scale its resources more efficiently. Coming to my next point was operating model. With ongoing pressure to reduce operating cost, organizations today are evaluating their individual operating models. Companies are now realizing that they want to de-risk their operating and gradually moving from manpower to outcome-based contracts. More emphasis is now laid on quality, predictability and preventions. To avoid operating a sub-optimal level and manage business processes efficiently, companies are revisiting their risk management strategies. This paradigm shift to de-risk operation is putting a bigger stress on working capital, capability, credibility of the outsourced partners and HR related and financial compliances. For the past years, many of our clients reached out to us and requested that they would like to focus purely on their core activities and they would like to completely offload their known core activities to the outsource, outsource partners, be it manufacturing, running into warehousing or data center management. They would not want to uh, distract by other activities like equipment, maintenance, cooling levels, etc. OCS India stepped up and took an remaining non-core uh, aspects of their facilities through SLA based contracts so that the client would focus on their core business. In fact, uh, a recent poll carried out by us on LinkedIn showed that 92% of the respondent feels outcome SLA based contracts are better, have clarity performance and accountability and help save money. So most and most of clients are now looking at outcome based contract instead of conventional cost plus or a manpower based contract. Coming to my third point is specialized workforce and teams. The rapid evaluation of technology and regularization requires organization to stay current proactive to maintain a competitive advantage. Organizations must be able to adapt to change with maintaining it, maintaining if not exceeding productivity and quality. FM companies therefore need to develop specialized teams to focus on identified target sectors, underlining processes, sub processes along with relevant experience on particular class of equipments are also essential skills that will provide a competitive edge in the market. Development of specialized workforce and certified team are necessary for application, multiple skill, domain knowledge that are necessary for project requirement, diverse expertise and problem solving ability. Facility management company therefore need to develop certain skill set and, and, and pivot their organization towards learning to these areas. To give an example, dust on solar panels for a prolonged period leads to power losses. Our specialized task force for solar panel cleaning services carried out at sustainable cleaning done effectively, e efficiently and safely without much water usage. Specialized teams are also trained on tasks like identifying the pH scale of water, temperature, water ppm for cleaning of solar panels. Teams are also trained the use of specialized solar modules, cleaning brushes which saves water and is also effective against bird droppings. Uh, ensure there is a standard process, train all relevant parties on the processes, then operate day to day with the exceptional that the processes will be flowed. Doing so allows people to focus on what needs to be done as uh, opposed to carrying the mental load of figuring out how it has to be done. Implementing this structure will enable you to systematically identify trends, address outliner and confirm best practices. And the last point what I mentioned is on strategic engagement. For a facility management company to be able to work and 
to do well as a unit, it is essential for comprehend the space it operates in. Understanding of customer needs at various stages like design and planning, projects, operations is imperative. Also to get into engaging when there is, uh, you know, the uh, uh, when, when, when there is utilities getting installed, when it is getting commissioned, also get part of the pre-functional tests, also get part when you are, uh, when, when the client is going into the seasonal tests, this really helps uh, the client. A strategy engagement with your provider for equipment selection, building design, process design is essential to maintain and sustain your premises both from a quality and cost perspective in the long term. For clients taking into consideration the, the views of FM companies at the early design stage could potentially reduce the efforts for maintaining during the operation phase of facilities. This is particularly true for sectors like warehousing, data centers, aviation, healthcare, where layouts and selection of equipment systems can go a long way in mitigating operational losses in the long term. Giving an example, we help clients in preparing the DBR, that is design basis report that aids in compiling data required for analysis, designing and detailing of facilities. We also provide guidance to clients on various factors that needs to be considered throughout a procurement process. These include activities and key decision during planning, procurement and post procurement levels. Our guidance helps the client to set up efficient procurement process and deliver best fit solution at optimized cost. As we try to make our way out of the pandemic, we must recognize and size the unique opportunity to rethink, refocus, re-engage the way we approach our business and differentiate ourselves in the market. I will conclude my talk by saying that facility management has developed into a major thriving business sector and as a discipline continues to grow across the world. Well-managed uh, sites and building enable organizations to function as their most efficient and effective level, achieving collaboration and thereby ensuring that the whole is greater than the sum of its part. We therefore have a very crucial role to play and we can be a force multiplier for organizations to achieve their objectives for customers and employees' confidence well-being. Thank you again for the opportunity and wish everyone all the best. I would let rest of the part of the session open for any question and answers. Thank you. So I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions that you would have in the areas that I discussed. You can type your questions or you can ask. Okay, I think there are no questions for me. So thank you very much. Have a great weekend and stay safe. Thank you.